what is the precise nature of um, the change of NMPC's legal nature? Okay, all right. So that's, that's a very interesting question. So it is still a government entity. Uh, it's still fully government-owned. So it's not a private company um, by definition because a private company is owned by private individuals and companies. Mm-hmm. And you know, they can sh- sell shares among each other as long as it's not IPO'd or sold in public. Mm-hmm. But this is a limited liability company. It's 100% owned by the government, 50% by the Ministry of Finance, 50% by the Ministry of Petroleum. But it does have some flexibility in how it carries out its businesses, how it positions itself for capital, you know, how he hires people and how exactly he builds relationship with the oil and gas companies he works with. So it's sort of, we'll say, sort of a hybrid. It's a limited liability company, so mm-hmm. it's, a hi- it's sort of a hybrid. Okay, so it's a sort of hybrid. Yeah. Um, can you explain the difference between um, transforming a government corporation into an LLC mm-hmm. and privatizing one? Because I'm, I'm still a bit like iffy on the on the difference there okay so privatizing means taking out the the government part of it entirely and mm. you know taking it selling it to private individuals or private companies mm. and it will no longer be uh, a government company and it's not a public company mm. but what they've done now is it is still like i said it's still a government company it's still 100 percent owned by the government but the way it's designed mm-hmm. um, there's a lot of flexibility around it so for example they are no longer tied to the ppa which is the public procurement act or like the fiscal regulatory act, it is that used to like slow them, uh, slow them down, and add some sort of bureaucracy. Mm-hmm. So they have the flexibility of a company like Sahara and Exxon Mobil, okay. um, but then they are still a, a government, a government owned, owned entity. entity. Not much has actually changed. So it's still a government entity, and um, part of the PIA, which is the bigger picture, is that the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Petroleum they sit together and look at all the assets the government owns today, put some sort of valuation to them, and determine which of them are moved into the private and the into the llc which mm. is nmpc mm-hmm. limited so what we get now is a change in the relationship on how money moves around so mm-hmm. for example um in the past with the jvs um the jvs between nmpc for example and mm-hmm. another company and mm-hmm. um, depending on their ratio of ownership mm-hmm. what happens is you contribute your own quota based on your ownership so mm-hmm. for example if you're if nmpc is a 55 percent owner of an asset they mm-hmm. contribute for 55 percent for the operations of that state assets mm-hmm. um but because um when nmpc was a corporation they hold assets on behalf of the government they don't own it mm. so when they need money they get money from the government cash calls and when they do sell the crew the money is swept to the um, government federation account mm-hmm. but today as a limited liability company they are responsible for the equivalent of cash calls mm-hmm. which is their own contribution to the assets mm-hmm. so that when the crew is sold and they make money what they owe the government is no longer sweeping all the funds into the government federation what they owe the government is two things first is taxes and royalties like every other oil company and then dividends. And the second thing they owe the government is dividends. Because the government is the owner of the company, the dividend goes to the government as well. Mm. So those are some of the changes that are going to work home. But that brings me to my next question. They're supposed to remit uh, the bulk of JV Ventures to the Federation, right? Recently, there have been disputes about these remittances. Um, <laughs> and now they own the assets. Mm-hmm. Why should Nigerians trust that an NMPC that is now free uh, from government oversight will not become even worse at remitting JV uh, uh, revenues? Uh, so, um, I mean, that's, a, that's, that's an interesting view. Um, but again, you know, what they owe the government as a limited liability company is no longer sweeping funds. Now, they own the assets by themselves, mm-hmm. you know. Um, in the past, they didn't own the asset. They're mm-hmm. holding it for the government. Mm-hmm. So for every sale they make, they have to sweep the money into this um, crude federation account. Mm-hmm. But as of today, or after um, they become a limited liability company, mm-hmm. just like every other oil company, mm-hmm. what they do just is pay I your tax. you pay your taxes, That's it. you pay your royalty. And then, you know, just like every other company that pays dividends, you pay dividends. Mm-hmm. But in this case, because the government owns the company, the dividend also goes to the government. Mm-hmm.